That night, all the engines was asleep. Thomas was awake, and he had a plan. I know, said Thomas. I can escape this nothing but a good piece of crap shed and tr probably go to the secret area. So, he did. So, off he went. He noticed something. He was not on the track he wanted to go. The track is right there. How am I supposed to get there? Thomas said. I have a plan. So off Thomas went to go do his awesomest, most tossomest plan. But he put a diesel and Toby asleep in his shed while Thomas did something he wasn't supposed to do. Hey, I flip. I need a flip, Thomas said. So he tried and did it again. He passed random docks, then the crossing. And then, it didn't work. I got back to where I started. Then, he saw the points. And then Thomas had a mischievous idea. How about I go there, and, now, and then I can enter the tunnel, Thomas said. So, uh, Thomas went, change the points. The points were changed. He passed from the docks again, and then, oh, come on! But this time he had a good idea. He passed from the docks, then he went on a crossing, and then he was the track he wanted to be on. And then Thomas stopped. Yes, that the track that leads to the abandoned area. No wonder nobody goes there. But I heard that tank engines have to wait for the area to let it be. So the points were changed and off Thomas went. It was quite steep, but Thomas made sure he made it. He passed the walking bridge, which was very neat. And he didn't derail either, so that was a feature he really, really liked. So, he stopped. Nobody won't notice me now, Thomas said. And now it's daytime. I heard that this place has little figurines. Now I know where all my cars are, Thomas said. No wonder nobody goes here because it's so abandoned. But lucky thing, it can hold the weight of the tank engine. A weight of a bigger engine could collapse the bridge. And if the tank engine's here, it might be stranded for years. Then, he recognized someone's voice. Thomas? Thomas, is that you? Hey, I know that voice. It sounds like Henry. Henry, what are you doing here? Thomas, I went too fast and I had to go here. Now, I don't know if she will let me come back to the railway. Do you want to go back to Sodor? Thomas, this is the end of Sodor. This is the mainland. This is the shunting yard. I don't want to go back there. I heard that there is a new engine to replace me.
Wait, I see Philip and Rebecca. Thomas decided to take a closer look. <gasps> My friends, what are you guys doing here? Oh, we were here because we wanted to follow Henry. Now, we're much peaceful here. Well, okay. I'm gonna be here for a while. So, the next day, all the engines were shot. Where's Thomas? Diesel, what are you doing here? Well, there was no engine next to between Percy and James, so I came here. Toby was sad. I wonder where's Thomas? Percy, you need to search for Thomas. Well, today is our day off, so I think we all have the best of it. Okay, I'll go search for my best friend, Thomas. So off Percy went, and then he found a magical surprise. <gasps> the points aren't set to the right direction. I think Thomas must have went there. But how am I supposed to switch to that track? Oh, I know. I have an idea. And Percy's idea was clever. Instead of going to the point, he just stayed. He went around the sharp bend. He went to the docks. Then he went to the cross. But then he derailed. But he managed to get back on track. And then Percy passed the tunnel, Henry's tunnel, and then he stopped. <gasps> Thomas, he must be down there. Oh, my best friend. Well, don't worry, Thomas. I'm going to save you. But then he realized the bridge wasn't set. But due to Percy's power, the bridge was set. Come on, Harry. Yeah, I gotta rescue my best friend, Thomas. But then Percy saw Thomas with a blink and an eye. laughed. Percy, the reason why I came here is because I thought you guys will be happy because I thought Toby was my replacement. He wasn't your replacement, Percy said. He was your assistant. My assistant? But I don't need an assistant, Thomas said. I know, but you have to deal with it sometimes, Thomas. Plus, we got a surprise for you back at home. Oh, really? Said Thomas. Really? Said Percy. Come on, we gotta get out of this hunk of junk. Don't worry, Percy. These guys are happy to be here. You were wondering. Well, I was until you interrupted me, Thomas. Come on, Percy. We have to get out of this hunk of junk in a longer place. Okay, Thomas. So all the two engines went. Soon, Thomas and Percy were two engine machines. Thomas went up Slope Hill. It wasn't it wasn't hard, but it was easy. At last, the engine was back to Sodor. Thomas, look! This better be good. 
Thomas, the prize! Oh, thank you guys, said Thomas. Thomas, I'm sorry, said Toby. I'll just be a regular background character. Well, if you want to, that's fine. Well, this is the only episode I appeared in, so it will be fine. So the engines live happily ever after. The end.